There are several methods to monitor the stocks and the movements. These methods are available in the inventory page. To check the detailed stock movements of a particular item, search and select the item. After selecting the item, click this icon to view the detailed stock movement. This will be opened in a new tab slash window. This is the detailed stock movement report. These are the internal IDs. These are the dates the transactions took place. The users responsible for the transactions will be indicated below the dates. These are the quantities in the transactions. These are the invoice numbers for the transactions. These are the batch numbers. These are the expiry dates for the batches. This row indicates that the batch 13,219 was received on 3rd January 2020, with quantity of 3,000. The supplier's invoice number is 2,436,369 re. And this batch expires on 31st of July 2021. So at this time, when this batch was received, there are 3,000 of this item in store. On the 6th January 2020, 600 of this batch was issued out from the store, note the negative 600. So now there will be 2,400 in store and 600 in local. When stocks are issued from store to local, the invoice number starts from LL slash. The stocks could also have been issued to external clients, if the invoice number does not start with LL slash, and in those cases only the store quantity will be reduced. Issues from store to local are identified by this invoice number. This so-called invoice number has no bearing on accounts as this transaction is within the same clinic, store to local. So this issuing of 600 is identified by LL slash 1104. In the 600 that were issued to local, these are the VNs that this batch was dispensed to. These are the quantities dispensed in the visits. These are the actual time these items were dispensed for the visits, the time batch numbers were saved in the collection page. And these are the times the visits were registered in the registration page. The VN times and dispensed time should be close together. If these times are far apart, they indicate that the batch numbers were not immediately saved when the items were dispensed and this is not good practice. This is the total quantities dispensed for this issue. LL slash 1104, of 600. So now we know the supplier, the invoice number, received quantities, issued quantities, from store to local, and the VNs that this item was dispensed to. These are the balance of this issue, LL slash 1104. This row indicates that another 200, note the negative 200, were issued from store to local on the 13th January 2020 from the batch 13219. This issuing is identified by issue LL slash 1271. From these 200 issued from store to local, these are the visits this batch was dispensed to. Of the 200 that were issued to local, all were dispensed and no balance is available. The last row will show the final quantities available in the store and local. For the selected item, simplified usage details can be viewed via stats. These are the usage patterns for the key periods. Margin will chart the selling prices and cost prices. These are the cost prices. These are the selling prices. As the cost prices may increase over time, it is important to monitor the selling prices to maintain reasonable margins. The cost slash unit for the item is automatically adjusted to the highest cost price. The cost shown here cannot be used to calculate the stock value as the stock values follow the exact supplier's costs according to the invoices and batches. To list all the supplier's costs, click the word cost slash unit. All the recorded supplier's costs along with their invoice numbers are listed here. The highest, lowest and average cost per unit are shown at the top of this table. 
Dispensed items can be viewed in tables for all items in specified period. Click here to show the inventory menu, if hidden. Specify the period, in this example we specify last month. Scroll down and click Dispensed Items. These are the items instructed by the doctors in this period. Note that instructed items are not the same as dispensed items. If batch numbers are not saved in the collection page, they are not considered dispensed and no stock is reduced. Clicking on the name of the item will chart the usage for the period. The usage for the period. Clicking the asterisk, at the end will show the VNs this item was instructed and dispensed to. These are the VNs this item was instructed for. These are the VNs date. These are the quantities instructed by the doctor in the patient page. These are the quantities dispensed for the visits. The numbers in brackets are the batch numbers. Note that if batch numbers were not saved in the collection page, the item is not considered dispensed and stock levels are not reduced. These are the quantities instructed and dispensed. Both must be the same, otherwise it indicates that there are visits where batch numbers were not saved. Several more reports are available here. Select Local Usage and click Reports to see the Local Usage Report. These are the items used in the period, sorted from highest to lowest sales value. These are the costs of the items, suppliers' costs. These are the sales value for the items. These are the profits. These are the quantities of the items. These are the average profit per quantity. This list can also be filtered by these. Periodically, missing batch numbers must be checked to ensure all dispensed items have the batch number saved. Missing batch numbers will result in wrong stock counts. Click Reports to view the missing batch numbers report. The missing batch numbers list must be empty. If this list is not empty, identify the VNs and save the batch numbers promptly. The issued report lists all items issued out to local and clients, not patients. Clients are third parties, e.g. another clinic. Click Reports after selecting Issued. The issued items can be filtered by these. Local usage by doctors will list the items used by every doctor. Click Reports after selecting Local Usage by Doctors. This is the doctor. And the items instructed by the doctor will be listed here, along with sales, costs, quantities and profits. This list can also be filtered by doctor. Local Usage by Panel will show the items used for panel patients. Click Reports after selecting Local Usage by Panel. This is the panel. And these are the items used for the panel patients, along with sales, costs, quantities and profits. This list can also be filtered by Panel. Balance, by month, will list balance of all items by calendar month. Balance, by month will make more sense if entire year is selected as the period, so click this year. And click Reports with Balance, by month, selected. All the items will be listed along with their batch numbers. The stock balance for the items can be viewed for every calendar month. Quantities that are below the order levels will be marked in red. Adjustments will show the value of items that were adjusted for quantities. This is important to check as all adjustments must be justified with acceptable reasons. Click Reports with Adjustments selected. The adjusted items are separated by those in store and local. 
These are the items that were adjusted, with the adjusted quantities. Monitor the value of the adjustments. Adjustments with high values most often indicate unusual activities. The user that performed the adjustments and the reasons, in brackets, are shown here. Make sure acceptable reasons are recorded and validate those reasons. Disposed items will list items that were marked as disposed, e.g. expired, damaged. Details of the disposed items will be listed like this. Items can be marked as disposed in both the store, store KT by batch, or local, local KT by batch. Disposed is ticked for the disposed batch. Valid reasons must also be specified for disposal before clicking update. The entire stock in both store and local can be listed by via stock in hand. Note that the stock is shown as of the date selected here under date slash from. The to date is irrelevant for stock in hand. All the stocks by batches will be listed here, along with their values. Take note of the as of date here. That's it. You're done.